Hello YouTube, this is Keith Kevin Ken. I'm Kevin. Ah, it's good to talk to you on this Thursday. It's Thursday, May 5th, 2016. Still gloomy and overcast on the east coast of the United States. <laughs> Next week is going to be beautiful. This week it's been just blah. So let's brighten everything up with this daily pocket dump deconstruction what you see in front of you right there on the screen well that's what i'm carrying today that's my edc pulled it out of my pockets adjusted it took a picture of it and posted it on my instagram at keith kevin ken if you'd like to follow the feed i post about four knife related uh, uh pictures on it each and every day after posting this about seven minutes ago, I turned my iPhone 6S Plus from photo to video, and now it's time to deconstruct this thing and play with some knives. My watch today is the Concord Impresario. I, I love chronographs, as you guys probably can tell. My regular rotation of watches, this is part of it. Nice, thick, heavy well-made chronograph from Concord, the Concord Impresario. The uh, cigar, I, th I think, was it a couple of days ago, I smoked a wonderful Monte Cristo uh, Cuban cigar. It was out of this new brand called the, um, the Open. Uh, I think the last one, I know the last one because I bought a box of it, is Regatta. This is the uh, open, the masters, it's kind of like a golf theme, I think. But man, great cigars. An older brand, Monte Cristo, I have a bunch of them from 20 years ago that I still have in my humidor. I mean a bunch of them, I love Monte Cristos. And this is just a new kind of sub brand for them and I love that too. Monte Cristo, one of my favorite Cuban cigars. The coin today, you could probably almost see that without the cover. But that's my 2006 Chinese Year of the Dog coin. That's my one ounce silver coin, lucky coin for today, for this gloomy day. Woke up thinking it was Friday. I don't know what's worse. Thinking it's Friday and knowing that it's only Thursday. <laughs> or waking up on a Friday. I don't know. Anyway, I got I have another day. I have two days of work ahead of me. Um so I'm really hoping that having a lot of great things in my pocket helps. Uh that's one of my Mont Blanc uh, wallets and today <laughs> blended scotch. Blended scotch today help me celebrate the end of a Thursday. I've been having Friday on my mind since Sunday evening. <laughs> field notes. I love the field notes, as you guys know. And now let's talk about the knives. Um, man, I just wanted some nice knives. I wanted to feel good today. Once I realized it wasn't Friday, <laughs> I mean, I literally checked my watch <laughs> nine times, my phone nine times. I'm like, are you serious? Anyway, uh, I just wanted a nice carry. Starting it off with my keychain knife. Oh, I'm going to have a classy keychain today. This is the Spydeco Copa. The Spydeco Copa. This is pearl and abalone. Uh, pearl and abalone scales. Oh man, is that pretty or what? It's really pretty. Of course, you know, the Copa, I have the entire 16 piece set. They all have the exact same profile. VG10 uh, steel blades. The blades are in that Spydeco leaf shape blade. 2.4 inches VG10. Man, I like it because it has this choil. It's so well built. Spyderco went out years ago and said every three or four months we're going to release two of these things and they're going to be well-built gentleman folders. And that's what they set out to be. 
Uh, the bolsters are steel, stainless steel. Um, and then, of course, all of the inlays are different. Everything from giraffe bone to carbon fiber and everything in between. Man, this feels so nice. It not only looks nice, it feels nice. It has a heft to it as well. It has that sturdy back lock, the Spyderco back lock that I think is one of their strongest back locks. I love how it just clicks in. It has this wonderful steel clip as well. It just all works well. And when you make this your keychain knife, man, it feels good in the hand. It really does. You can get a lot done. VG10 steel again. All of the um, pieces out of that 16 piece set are also limited. So there are only 16, a uh, 16. I'm sorry, there are only 600 of each piece, so only 600 pearl and abalone copas, so only 599 are still in the world. Hey, if you can find one of these, and these pop up a lot on uh, eBay, um, yes, they're the secondary market. They're usually in good shape because it's usually from the first person who purchased them. And of course, they put them away to collect them because it's limited edition and because it's set out to be a limited edition. So when you pick them up, oh man, all of mine are secondhand, by the way, and all of them are as new, never sharpened because people are really saving them up. So if you can find one, yes, I'm a crazy guy and needs a complete set. But just to have one of them in your collection is great. If you like gentlemen folders, this is great. If your father's still alive or grandfather's still alive, uncle, whoever means something to you, what a great gift. What a great gift. That is the Spydeco Copa. My medium carry, <laughs> it's still my best flipper. And I have a bunch of flippers. It's still my best flipper. This is the Browse Blades Caliber. This is a one-off. Browse Blades always does several versions of his mid-tech knives. In this case, though, this is a one-of-a-kind. It's carbon fiber. It's the blacked-out version with carbon fiber scales. And he carved the carbon fiber. This carbon fiber is unbelievable, too. Really thin um, and really light and just perfect. I love the carving on mine. I really do. The great thing about the caliber is it's light. It has that just a little bit over three inch blade. D2 steel. Jason Browse loves his D2 steel, D2 carpenter steel. It's really nice. This is a spear point style blade, hollow ground. Oh man, it is a really nice piece. Flips like a dream it really does and so so light this is my medium carry it is the browse plate look at the clip the clip is wonderful too i love the clip it is a deep carry clip that just really works great uh for this knife really does that's the browse blade browse blade caliber as a medium carry and then of course oh man this is one of the winners from spydeco this year 2016 as i record this it's one of the winners one of my favorites it's the spydeco myrtle spydeco myrtle oh man <laughs> it is i know i keep saying oh man we got to add that to the kevin Keith, Kevin, Ken, drinking game. Beautiful, wonderful, I love it, and oh, man. Just take a shot of whatever you have in front of you to make you feel good. Oh, it's just great. It really is. All titanium. Oh, man. <laughs> this is titanium bolster with this wonderful marble carbon fiber. It is so classy. You cannot feel where these two came together. With a knife like this, it, 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 what amazes me is this is a production knife. This isn't a, you know, limited edition, a thousand run 
sprint run knife. This is a production knife. That means thousands and thousands of these have been created and it feels like a custom. It's really nice. Again, all titanium, titanium liners. They are, um, oh look, just see the liners. Uh, really nice marbled uh, carbon fiber. I don't have another car, uh, marble carbon fiber Spydeco. It's very nice. Has a nice back spacer, carbon fiber as well. Titanium back on the lock side. Has that re-ventricle frame lock. Big uh, clip that doesn't feel like it's out of in your way when you're gripping it. No hot spots at all. And you know what? This is a beautiful, beautiful knife. Look at all of the pins in line. They went all out. S30V steel. Um, when you turn it over, I love the full tie. That clip just looks humongous, doesn't it? But man, does it work. Easy in, easy out of the pocket. I have some dress slacks on that I'm wearing to work. And usually when I carry this, I have my dress slacks on. And it, it doesn't, does not tear my pocket at all. Oh, what a great knife. That blade shape is interesting. It really is that Spydeco leaf blade, except they do that little recurve right here that gives you a more pronounced belly and ends up with that hook at the tip. So it's a lot more functional. And look how thick that S30V steel is. Comes to a tip, but not too thin of a tip. It's a tip that you can work with. Oh, it gives you so many possibilities for cutting. Gives you that nice belly for doing a lot of work and of course that little hook at the end. This is a real nice knife. It really is. It feels so great in the hand. That's the Spydeco Myrtle. 3.7 inch S35. I mean S35. What is wrong with me today? S30V steel. S30V steel. Big blade. 3.7 inches. Big for me. But man... I tell you, it feels like a gentleman's folder. That's why I have no problems carrying this. I really love it. Now, I will probably put this in a Chris Reeve folder. I mean, a Chris Reeve sheath, uh, leather sheath. Man, my mouth is not working today. I better get it working. I've got like five meetings today at work. Anyway, um, I probably will not clip it. I'll probably put it in a, a nice leather Chris Reeve sheath. And put it in my pocket instead. But oh man. And clip my little caliber. I love this knife. It is beautiful. Thank you Spydeco. That's one of that's part of that epic Spydeco release. This year of 2016. That's it you guys. I know I'm fumbling all the way through it. That is my carry. That's what's going in my pocket. I'm stuffing my pockets. I'm enjoying the day with my cigar and my knives. That is what I posted on Instagram at Keith Kevin Ken. But you know what? This is an Instagram. That's why we have a couple of knives that got away. And I'll tell you, I was thinking about this knife first. This is the Brad Southerd Positron, the new flipper from Brad Southerd. Brad Southerd is the one that designed Spydeco's first flipper, the Brad Southerd. Just came out with this one early this year, 2016. And man, it's a nice one. It has become a favorite. At first, <laughs> I'll tell you the first night I got it in and started playing with it and I was a little disappointed as soon as I that's why I'm glad I don't do unboxings because I went this is it this little thin thing not what I expected from a southern and yes all of the dimensions were there but I just had my expectations it's so light it just feels different than the original southern and you know what it is different than the original southern but after a week and after carrying it, it makes so much sense. That little flipper tab is great. I love the carbon fiber. Wonderful carbon fiber. That's not pill ply or any other kind. There's no G10 under this. It's just really nice. My great wire clip, deep pocket carry clip is great. It's so 
light. So very light. S30V steel. Oh man, just a little over three inch blade. You cannot, that is not a functional spotty hole, but why would you need it with a flipper like this? That's why it's light. It's beautiful, it's very light and easy to carry with that great clip. Ah, I fell in love with it. And of course I came across this first because I was in my Spydeco, I was in that uh, Spydeco case. And then I picked that up and went, yeah, that's a flipper. That's a masterpiece flipper. But I really love that. That's the Brad Southern Positron. One of the new flippers coming from Spydeco in 2016. It is very nice. Little jimping there. Now, for all you jimping fanatics, you'll go, that's jimping? Again, it's more... And you start to see this more and more. Of course, then Spartaco comes out with some big beast knives too. So they're 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 spreading the wealth this year. Small knives and big knives. This is a wonderful flipper and a wonderful work knife because it is a gentleman's folder. It really is. I love it. But I'm not carrying it today. That's one that got away. And then the last one that got away, man. It's just so nice and simple. This was a 2015 uh, knife from Spydeco. It's called the Mike Draper because that's who designed it. Mike Draper and his wife makes knives and jewelry. And this is kind of a combination of both. <laughs> it's just so well done. All titanium, full titanium, uh, a wonderful full titanium backspacer ah, it's artistically made this is they really textured the titanium here anodized a lot of it blue this is a nice spider web um, design you can feel it all and this texture here is just great but it's light it's so light the titanium is so light Liner lock, easy to get to, no problem. Sometimes with my fat hands, my fat fingers, I, I, I feel clumsy trying to close it with the liner lock. But this is so nice. It's smooth, too. Every time I open it up, it just feels smoother. It really does. 3.7 inch blade, VG10 steel. Ah. It's a nice, simple folder. It really is a nice, simple folder. Big knife, feels good in the hand, and light. It is a light all-titanium uh, knife. And it is fancy, isn't it? I love all of that blue anodized tie. Ugh. But didn't go with that. Went with the little smaller, little fatter, and really... A beautiful knife right there with the myrtle. That's it, you guys. Thank you very much. Sorry I slobbered all the way through this. You know why? Because I'm so disappointed it's not Friday. <laughs> but talking to you guys, it always feels like a weekend. I really enjoy the time we spend each and every morning. Remember, we do these pocket dumps each and every morning. I have so many other special videos I need to do. I need to stop getting lazy. Next week, I'm going to try to put out a lot of videos for you guys. Thank you very much for watching and supporting the Keith Kevin Ken YouTube channel. Don't forget, you can follow my feed on Instagram at Keith Kevin Ken. You'll see a lot of great knives in the photos. Don't forget to thumb this up if you enjoy it. Also, subscribe. We're making our way to 500 subscribers. Once we do, we're going to have some special videos coming your way. Hey, you guys, have a perfect, perfect, perfect day. Keep those pockets full. Goodbye.